Hey guys, thanks for dropping by Design by Kathy. Today we're gonna do a pour with a color combination that was requested by subscriber Nancy. Nancy, I wanna thank you for this color combo um, suggestion. I will be using turquoise. I'm gonna use a metallic silver. I'm going to use a gray and black. And in this case, I'm gonna use the color shift black and we'll see how that comes out. Anyway, I wanna thank you, Nancy, for that comment and that suggestion. I wanna thank you all for your uh, likes, shares, subscriptions, and comments. And if you're just watching today for the first time, I hope that you will also uh, subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell on there too so you'll know when a new video comes out. Anyway, let's get set up and get started right now. So like I said, we're gonna be using uh, these colors that were requested uh, by, or suggested by uh, Nancy. And I've got them all mixed up ex with the exception of this last one. Now I'm using Floetrol as my medium. Each one, each additive that you use, be it uh, Liquitex or then uh, there's, there's several, several different other ones, but each one is gonna be a little bit different. This is just what I have personally found um, is a good combination with the Floetrol uh, is to use, I've got one ounce of paint here and I'm going to see if I can, I don't really want to lose any of it because it's not going to all come out just exactly right. There we go. So I have one ounce, this is the turquoise, turquoise blue. And these are little four ounce, uh, four ounce cups uh, that I use. I really like these, they have little lids actually that come with them, so if you have leftover paint in it, you can easily save it. But, so it's a four ounce cup. I've got half of my Floetrol in here to add to my one ounce of paint. One thing you do want to do with your additive is you want to mix it really well. Try to scrape off the sides, you know, your paint so that you will mix it, get it all mixed together really well. Now you'll read that there's a lot of formulas or recipes, if you will, and that's all well and fine, but like I said, different ones and different paints have, you know, diff the different density of each paint is a little different, but what you want to make sure is that it's just gonna run off of your stick like that. Not quite to the consistency of water, just a little bit, uh, a little bit runnier than honey. So that's a good rule of thumb to remember as you're adding. And when you, if you're using a, some, a, different, uh, a different brand than what I've just said I'm gonna be using in this one, uh, you can always add to you can't take out. So one way or the other, if you add too much of your pouring medium and it's just entirely too runny, go back and add some more paint. And then vice versa, on the other way around, you can uh, keep adding your additive until you get that right, the consistency that makes you happy. So I've got this color shift black and it's called Black Flash. And it is a, whose paint is it? I don't know, uh, it just says color shift and I, oh, it's folk art, I see it on there now. It was really hard to see, but folk art, uh, black flash color shift. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do, I've got these four colors mixed up and I wanted to do this as just an easy, easy, easy pour, just to pour and have fun. We're not layering, we're not dirty pouring. This is the metallic silver. Now what I find with the metallics, that seems to be running pretty good. Sometimes the metallics, I found that I have to add like a cap full of water. I'm gonna just try to pour this little puddle of this right in the center.
and those strips aren't going to matter when we start to flow our paint across the canvas. This was actually a canvas that had something else on it that I wasn't particularly happy with, which is another thing, folks. Your piece is not gonna come out just, you're not gonna be in awe of every pour that you do. And that's just, that's just how it is. But that's why it's so much fun to be able to pour over it, go back. I did put on this one, um, I put just a light coat, a coat of um, the Bullseye 123 primer because I didn't want the other colors to, you know, what was on there previously to bleed through onto what we got going on here. <clears throat> and then I have the gray, which I had to make the gray, so I can't tell you the name of it because I don't have any, so I just mix some some black and white. You know, you don't have to rush through, but you don't want your paint to start thickening up. So you do want to, you do want to get it on as, you know, relatively. In other words, you wouldn't just do this and go off and come back and, you know, then try to manipulate it. Now I'm going to go a little bit opposite here. And you ask why? Just because I want to. There are, with, the, with fluid art, there are no perfectly right, perfectly wrong, perfectly, perfectly anything. And I think that is the, um, I think that's the beauty and fun of it. Uh, when fluid art, and I can't tell you the year off the top of my head, but it was many, 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 many years ago, fluid art, um, when it came into being, I guess you could say, they actually called it accidental art. And I can tell you also, out of like a hundred pieces that I've poured, I just did a, a, an art show. And out of that, I had, I can't remember if I took 12 or 13 pieces, you know, for two reasons. One, they were they were my favorites. And two, that's what fit on the wall that I was al allowed to put them on. So anyway, it was it was actually pretty cool. But like I said, out of a hundred hundred pieces, I took twelve. Hundred pieces that I've poured. Granted, as you know, a lot, lot, lot of them I come back over like like I'm doing with this one and pour over it. Oh, that's the gray. I thought I had black in my hand. Sorry, folks. It doesn't matter. It's gonna all, you know, it's kind of like your mashed potatoes touching your green beans. But they're gonna all end up together. But while they're on the plate, they look pretty separated. So while we're not gonna blend, I guess that really wasn't a good whatever, because we're not gonna blend this like you would your your uh, <laughs> your potatoes and green beans. Now to start manipulating the canvas, I am gonna put gloves on. Because, as you know, if you've watched before, uh, it gets pretty messy. If you're new, if you're new, I recommend gloves, definitely. Because it's gonna, it's acrylic paint, but you're still gonna make a mess. Cover your surfaces, protect your tables, or whatever you may be, you know, doing your pour on. 
to get these things out of the way. And now we're gonna see what happens here. I don't really want it, it's, you know, it's just, you can see it's running off a little bit. I really don't want it to run off too terribly much right here at first because I want to make sure I have enough to cover all of the surface. I'm just gonna use a popsicle stick, but I'm just gonna take, do a couple of little things here. Now these are gonna fill back in. Don't worry, we're not trying to do something too funky here. that little corner there we go I'm gonna get that corner hopefully I really like the natural look of how it flows off the edges to just you know let it go naturally you know sometimes you got to help it and then um, help it just to I have no idea what I just knocked off help it just a little bit Oh, I do too, my little support. Well. You don't want it to, you don't want to mix it together and make it be muddy looking. I just want to try and help it start to flow. And as you can see, I've got a lot of paint that I've let drip off here, which will be perfect for getting my sides. Okay, now that was just pouring those puddles and then letting the paint flow. So you're going, okay, it kind of looks blah. Well, it kind of does look blah. But so here's what I wanna do. I'm gonna take my popsicle stick. Actually, this was the one in the um, um, metallic silver. And you can see what I did while I gave my finger. It allowed these little cool little things. So I'm just gonna make some squiggledies through here just break it up the that solid kind of monotonous looking piece and then they're going to fill back in but they leave a cool little design any of the things that we use if you go back and look at my other videos if you haven't watched them anything that we go back and use as far as like a a string or a chain it's just to get a different effect it's not that it's a great big old you know, oh, secret thing. It just gets a different look. You see how that just did? That was pretty cool right there. Wasn't even trying to do that. That looks pretty cool. But it's just to get a different look. And you know, I love <laughs> what I call happy accidents. Is when you have something and it just turns out really cool and you didn't really, you weren't necessarily trying to, oh my goodness, my little thing just doesn't wanna I really like using the uh, oh the push pins to hold my canvas. Where'd my other one go? Well, good heavens, it went. <laughs> what are the freaking odds of that? That's too funny. Whoops. Okay. See, there we go. I got the clumsies today, folks. I'm sorry. And I'm gonna make sure, like I said, that I've got all the little edges 
you know, just, just because I like the edges covered and I stuck my finger on there so you leave a thumbprint, don't want that. So I'm just gonna kind of dab those on. You can dab or drizzle or whichever. But anyway, and I got a bubble, go away bubble. We know what bubbles. Actually, that's not a bubble. I don't know what that was, but we got rid of it. Anyway, so I don't know. I think that turned out pretty cool. And like I said, that was no, nothing, whatever, running this little popsicle stick down through it. Just gave it a whole different little character of look. So anyway, pull out your paints, folks, and uh, I hope you'll have fun. This is pretty fun. It's been a gloomy Monday. It kind of lifted my day. I hope it will yours as well. Thanks, guys, for sh your shares and your likes, and I so appreciate your comments. And hey, if you're new, please subscribe and share with your friends. You guys have a great day.